looking back, that was the stupidest thing ever. But when you're self-taught, thinking of done ways to try new things is pretty easy. Oh. What? So a couple of years ago, I bought myself an aerial rig because COVID things meant that gyms were closing and we weren't allowed to leave our homes. Six meters high. So I decided to give myself three weeks to teach myself an aerial routine. And then I uploaded that progress video onto YouTube. That hurts so much more than you think. And since then, I've gotten a lot of comments asking if I've kept it up. And well, after that video, not really. I did dabble here and there though. But then at the end of the year, I got the opportunity to perform at an event. The only thing was, it was in six weeks. So, here is part two of my aerial progress video. But this time, because we were actually allowed out of our homes, I was able to get some coaching, few lessons, but man, I forgot how painful training can be. Here are a few of my bruises from week one. Anyways, I then tried putting a routine together by just watching moves online and trying to learn them. Some moves which looked easier than what they were and some more painful. This move in particular looks simple enough, but ugh, that rope just felt like it was burning against my skin. There were some moves I tried I thought I'd never figure out, but with a bit of practice, I finally got there in the end. So let's work it out and let's make a truce and let's bust a move on the dance floor. Let's groove, bounce, and let's slide. I know this ain't what you asked for, but you know damn well if you're right. You're to the top. Yeah. On this journey, I got confused and frustrated. But I just needed to focus on one thing at a time and then I slowly would see improvement. Okay, so I don't know why, but when I go from the straddle to drop down to my knees, I keep almost dying. So I'm gonna try and do something else instead, just in case I fall in front of everyone. During the six weeks, there were times where I had to go away for work, which meant I couldn't practice, so I would just focus on my flexibility. With one week to go, I really focused on getting my movements a little more pretty, which did not come naturally to me. I wish I had a dance background, but uh, just had to work with what I had. To see how high we could get it, like as a competition. But, but one time I peed so high that it oh. forked back and then landed on my own head. But, but, <laughs> but that's why. What the but, anyways, the whole point of this was just to have fun, go outside my comfort zone. So I just needed to remember not to take anything too seriously. So here is the final video. Uh, and by the way, I'm dressed up as a peacock.